Hey there, welcome to the devlog for Juice Galaxy 0.2.2. Uh, this update was initially just going to be... I was gonna rewrite the code that generates this cave. The marching cubes code used to rely on compute shaders, which are not compatible with everyone's computers. But while I was in here, I found a whole host of other issues that have been bugging me for the last couple years. Um, as I've improved the game in other areas, this place is kind of just festered and been neglected. So, I ended up fixing a bunch of other things. One of them being the water, which I'm quite proud of. I, I think it looks pretty good for how much effort I put into it. Um, but I'll get into that in a sec. Uh, actually, maybe I should get into it now. I, I just don't know what I'm supposed to say about it. <laughs> I wrote uh, shader. Basically, water in this game is a big, flat plane, and it's huge. I just stretch it over uh, the entire tube area, the entire toilet realm area that the player is able to access without no clip has this water plane in it, and it's just a flat plane. Even though it looks like it's going up and down, that's just some like wizardry that I did, which is what I'm proud of. Um, I think it looks decent. And it looks a lot better than what we used to have, because uh, the old water was a really weird attempt at screen-based, screen space reflection that I had made, that actually took, it would like take a screenshot of what the camera was looking at, called a grab pass, and then it would distort that screenshot and then draw it on top of the plane and that was supposed to look like a reflection, but it really just ended up looking bad. So, while I was in here working on the marching cubes to generate the cave, I ended up going through several iterations of different waters, and I think this is the best. Um, so yeah, we have a, a large flat plane that covers the surface. There's a, a another plane for the underside as well. And then the coloration of all the terrain beneath it couldn't be handled with that single unlit shader. So I actually had to add elevation fog to the fog shader that I was using. So all the pink stuff down here, all these crazy colors are a post-processing effect. Like, um, well, like, uh, like these guys, these filters here, these are all post-processing effects as well. They just take the camera output and they turn them into, well, they, they just modify it in different ways. This is my favorite. <laughs> okay, well. looks pretty good I think but anyways um so I made those aesthetic and uh, performance improvements the cave is still exactly the same um, let me reset it's still exactly the same shape um, the ruffles in it like the, the tube still goes in the same direction but the ruffles are different these uh, like wrinkles and nooks and crannies and stuff are different but all in all the cave is exactly the same shape and size just a different color and texture uh what was i gonna say oh also added wall jumping uh, when you collide with stuff you're given a short opportunity to uh jump afterwards and if you hold a direction you will fly straight towards the uh you'll either fly straight forward or straight to the side or straight backwards if you choose and this is in contrast to what we used to have for jumping uh it was it was a little janky i 
I was applying a small amount of upward force no matter what direction you were looking, and so it was impossible to simply jump forward, which is now possible. And some other, <laughs> some other things are possible. I'm wondering if I should maybe put a cooldown on the wall jump, because while this m method of locomotion is pretty satisfying, I do not want to make it so that anyone who wants to speedrun the game competitively is forced to do this, because... Well, maybe I do. I, d I don't know. That's just a thought, though. We'll see if I end up needing to add a uh, cooldown to the jump. So anyways, I'm, I'm just flying through here. I'm trying to get to um, the two boss fights because they're a little bit improved. Sucker Punch isn't. Sucker Punch has not changed in the slightest besides his arena. Oh! Oh, I'm a dirty cheater. Let me fix that. Uh, there. All my levels are normal max. That's still cheating, but whatever. I don't think most of you will have your levels maxed out by the time you get here. Let me stow my plunger. If you have, if you already have a giant plunger and you go up to Sucker Punch, he'll let you through because he just respects giant plungers or something. I don't know. That's another thing. Um, the wall jump is orthogonal to whatever you collided with, so. Huh. Another tourist enters this land of pipes. Listen, so. tourist, there is nothing here for you. Go back up the pipe and never, never return. return. Plunger death wheel. Alright, how are we gonna hold up? What do we got? Let's use a normal bat. Well, it's not. My plunger tornado. It's not that normal. It's the same as the bat that they give you right here. You are no match for the frog. But... <laughs> Where'd you go? All right, get ready. Plunger turn. Punched up. Branton fight. With these tools of war. Uh, let's just shoot him to death. In the interest of keeping the devlog short. Even with these augmentations, I continue to fail. But yeah, uh, I haven't really improved his moves so much as I worked on the arena. And all I did for his arena was I changed the. Uh, I improved the lighting a bit. I must defeat Where did you go? Sacred duty. Sir. <laughs> what a bet. I underestimated you. Alright, he... That's gonna be a problem during the cutscene later. I, I didn't think about it, but he can end up over there if you're not fighting him the way I intended. But yeah, anyways, you you beat him, he gives you his plunger so that you can now fight the clog, and you proceed through his arena into the clog arena, which is over here. And you may notice that the land over here is actually rippling. Um, I just like that effect a lot, so I enabled it. I added some vertex displacement to the cave wall shader. Oh yeah, we get, got the clog here. Totally normal. Nothing weird about this. No sir. Nothing different. Except that sucker punch right there. Uh, uh... I gave him stretchy arms, so he can punch you from pretty far away. 
and I adjusted his AI so he's a lot more rude. Um, normally when he says come here, he'll just come into punching range, but now he <laughs> will come all the way up to you. And through you. Up to a certain point. He's not allowed to go past here. So, let's start beating him up. Um, I added knockback to him. Oh, crap. Well, I'll beat him a lot faster this time. I added knockback to him so that, uh, well, you'll see. You can kind of charge at him and just continually smack him a bunch of times. Uh, using that sweet whirlwind move. Or you can retaliate against his fists by standing just outside of range and smacking his hands while he tries to punch you. And check this out, this sucker punch is actually something to worry about. It will one-shot you sometimes. Alright. Part of why I added the knockback is because people would come stand. Ooh. People would come stand right next to him and beat him up. I added uh, you fool. that cutscene. You have no idea what you've just unleashed. Finally, after all this time, I improved the cutscene. Swirly D has risen once more. So now that we're here, you can let him just swirly you. You can press Q to skip. Uh, if you feel like it, you can... Well, you, if you had a car, you could get in it and drive around. You can use a grappling plunger to, like, move around a bit. I hope I'm not being obnoxious by talking through this. That's it. That's uh, that's all there is to the toilet room. I have shown for you in thirteen minutes what has taken me the last month and a half to develop. I'm pretty satisfied with it. Uh, there's a lot more that I'd like to have done, like, for instance, when you, when he's like, tap to go swirly some nerds, uh, he like goes into a portal. I could have animated that. I wanted to have him spit out the portal like a loopy, and then swirly himself inside of it, but it's just not enough time. Um, for the time, that it would take me to do that, I could just make a swirly D boss fight or something. <laughs> so, uh, I refrained from increasing the scope. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just feel like I have to make videos every time I add an update to the game. But there's 
plenty to talk about for that. Um, one thing is, I was careful to make sure that I can reuse the water shader in the real world this time, so uh, it could be that I add water to the world pretty soon, so watch out for that. And I also was careful to, uh, I experimented with a lot of different Swirly D lightning types. I actually wrote my own line renderer, I wrote a particle system based Swirly lightning, which is what I ended up using. Uh, and I, I wrote like a custom shader for his lightning. Actually, all lightning in the game is now, now uses the, uh, the lightning that I made for Swirly D. Let's see if I have a tone. Yes, I do. Uh, it's really just the same lightning as before with some minor adjustments. I still haven't fixed this seam where it intersects with the ground, um, but all I have to do is the same thing I did with the water, which is, uh, take the difference in depth between the background and the world space of the fragment of the thing and then use that and if it's good <laughs> no if if the difference is too small between the depth here and uh well between the depth of the lightning and the depth of the background behind it uh, then just fade out the lightning as I've done with the water and it will look a lot better. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it. This will now work for everybody. That was the big thing was just making sure that this code will work for everybody. Uh, by getting rid of those pesky compute shaders which are great like don't get me wrong if you're making a game don't be afraid to use them because most people can use them but uh, it just didn't feel right for me to have every other area of the game accessible besides the coolest part which I think this is currently a pretty cool area there's a lot of like terrain, lots of unique terrain, and we got water, and we got two, three big characters in here. I almost added another for this update, but scope reduction, keeping it small. But, uh, yeah, uh, let me know if you find any bugs, and I will keep working. I'll uh, probably might end up tuning this place up a little bit more, but next time I'm still eyeing Mrs. Slithers. She's looking terrible right now. And the Wasp Queen, I never even finished. She's... Her boss fight's good, though. And also, I'm doing some uh, another tour stuff with these characters. This land of pipes. So yeah, enjoy the update. Enjoy trying to kill these guys without cheesing them like I just did. And I will catch you in the next update. Goodbye.